Hello! Right, here for something a little bit different. We are going on the move today to thank my sister Kirsten. She is going to take us around. We're going to be doing a scavenger hunt! So, I've done mine. I've got some here, so if you can see them, I'm going to find some water, something green, something glass, a toy, something yellow, something wooden, a car, rock, leaf and something to sit on. So let's go outside into my garden and see if we can find some of those. Come on then. Come on Kirsten, off we go. Right, what should we start with first? So I think we're going to start with a car. So instead of drawing, you can draw, I'm not going to, I'm going to put where I find these things. So I found a car on the driveway. Right, let's make our way into the garden. So, another one of my things is a rock. Now, I'm not really sure if you can call these pebbles on the drive a rock, so I might have not helped myself with this one. Right, let's keep going. Ah, oh, look what I found. A toy! Now, my dog's going to come and attack me. This might not be the kind of toy that you have at home, but this is the toys that we have at home. So I'm going to write that I found this on the grass. And we'll throw that one out for the dog so he can go play with that one. Right, something yellow. Something yellow. Can anyone see something yellow? Ah, the daffodils! Right, so I'm going to write something yellow here. So I will write daffodils. Which one should we do now? We've still got to find that rock. I'm not really sure I'm going to find that. Now, something to sit on. Well, I could sit on the grass. Could sit on the wooden thing. Could sit on the table. Or I could sit on this chair, which is a bit stuck. So <laughs> we'll sit here. I will say table in garden. Now, let's find something water. What could we have for water? Ah. I have an idea. Come with me. I think if we look over here, we might find some water. So I can put, oh, I'm not turning it off very well. So I can put for water, the water butt. Now, glass. Something glass. <sighs> Something glass. Ah, I've got it. I'm going to use a window in the annex that my parents have in the garden. So, window. Right, we're getting there. We've got one, two, three, four left. Now, something green. Anyone know of something green in a garden? Anything? Uh, anything? Something green. Uh, aha! I've got it. Let's use this tree over here as something green. So I'm going to put my trees by the shed. So I'm going to put tree by shed. Now, something wooden. Now, I can't use a table set because I've already used that. So, something wooden, something wooden, something, I know, come with me. We'll use this bench and course. Now I could have used this as my sit down one, but instead we're gonna use this as something wooden. Now, two more, leaf, rock. I really might have stumped myself for this rock one. Ah, leaf, come over here. Now, I want to challenge you that if you do do this, why not try and find the most exciting leaf you can find? And why not do a leaf rubbing? Now, these are very simple. Take the leaf, put it under, and with some sort of crayon or pencil, rub on the page, and the shape of the leaf will come through. To so do it on a hard surface, nothing with any grooves or anything, just a flat, hard surface, rub through, and see the shape of your leaf come through. So, tree by drive right rock rock aha does this count as a rock 
Yeah, we're going to say this is a rock. Maybe not as big. Maybe you can try and find the biggest rock in your garden. So I'm going to put by tree, by drive. So, as you can see, I have now completed my scavenger hunt around my garden. But you might want to draw pictures. You might have a couple of scavenger hunts. You might want a sibling or an adult to set your scavenger hunt for you. Then you have to go around and find it. But have fun with it, do as many as you want, do as many squares as you want, and if you want to send me in pictures, then please do. But enjoy, and I'll see you later for story time.